Today, we'll be looking at the Cloud Radial Agent. The Cloud Radial Agent brings in data and structures it for client-focused reporting that you can use to build out your automated QBRs. It also helps you keep track of and give visibility into data governance and compliance for your clients. Let's take a look at it now. To start, I'll navigate over to Infrastructure on the left-hand side of the Feature Sets, and I'll click on Endpoints. Under my demo account here, you can see I've got it installed on quite a few machines. For this example, we'll be looking at Jeff's desktop here. The overview screen pulls together some high-level information about the machine, like the protection it's running, the storage it's using, and even what users are using OneDrive on it. Note that there's also additional information like the configuration, the users, and the software inventory. Closing out of this immediate tab, we can also see that there are additional tabs at the top about security and performance. With enough agents installed on machines for the clients, you'll even be able to pull together charting, as seen here on the right, that helps your clients understand their infrastructure at a high level, visually. And while this is all great stuff, it's still just the beginning of what the agent can do. To illustrate, let me close out of here and navigate over to Compliance on the left-hand side and click on Policies. The policy reports are fed data using the Cloud Radial Agent to generate a risk score in each category. This is how we generate the red, yellow, and green stoplight report within the automated QBRs. As you can see, it's especially important in fields like endpoints, where we're counting the third-party installations of antivirus, current operating versions, hard drive encryptions, and more. Now that we understand the importance of the Cloud Radial Agent, let's take a look at how to install it. To start, let's navigate over to Partner on the left-hand side and click on Clients. Once in the Client menu, there are a few different ways to download the agent. The simplest is to click on the client you'd like to install the agent for and click on the Download Agent button on the right. Alternatively, you can also click on the public-facing agent URL link to download it. You can also click on the Agents tab at the top to get a full view of all agent URLs by company from here. Note that each company has a company ID, which is how the agent knows to tie data to that individual client. Be sure to use the right agent for the right client. We've now covered how to install the agent manually. However, there's still the option of installing it via RMM. Navigate back to Companies under Clients and click on any given company. Under the Agent URL, you'll see a helpful link to radials.io slash agent deployment. Let's click it. Here, we've given you some more in-depth instructions as to how to deploy out the agent, including a link to our GitHub. The Cloud Radial GitHub has sample scripts for ConnectWise Automate, Kaseya, and Intune as well. Furthermore, this article breaks down how to use one agent for all companies, how to install it silently, how to disable auto-update, and the general requirements. I'll provide a link to it within the description of this video as well. Be sure to download and test the agent to start pulling in information for your Cloud Radial tenant.